Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 823. My name is Christine and on today's episode, I'm showing you some products from Lawn Fawn Stamps and Clear Snap. So I'm going to start by showing you these color box inks. They're dye inks from Stephanie Bernard. I have used this Lawn Fawn Fanciful Frame here to do my stamping of all the colors just so you can see what the colors look like. Anyway, so we have a light pink called bubblegum. Then there's guava, strawberry, and raspberry. There's two greens. There's the artichoke and the spearmint, a grape, and a plum. And we have banana, mustard, tangerine, and pumpkin. And finally, sky, cornflower, blueberry, and licorice and there's also a chocolate brown. So this is one of the new Lawn Fawn uh, sets called Let It Snow and I'm going to use the Christmas tree just to show you the inks a bit more. have my little block here. It's a little dirty. I was stamping with kids this week and haven't had a chance to clean my blocks. So I'm going to use this strawberry. Now when we open it up, the first thing you'll notice is that it's not a felt pad like a lot of dye inks are. This pad's a little foamier, more like what you would find in a pigment ink. So when you lay your ink down, it's nice and inky. So when you're stamping with these solid images, you'll get a nice uh, solid stamp. And there we have a nice red Christmas tree. So these inks um, are really nice, especially for a dye ink, because I find they were just a little bit juicier than some other dye inks on the market. So now I'm gonna show you some new papers from Lawn Fawn. They have the 12 by 12 papers as well as these petite pack. This is um, their Christmas collection for 2012. So I'll just go through, you can see some, you have some ornaments. They are one-sided papers. These little repeat design with the trees, the doves. It's a little uh, yellow on white stripe little snow scene, gifts, hearts, bells, Oops, missed that. there you go. So you see you can, you get quite a few designs. I think it's like 18 designs two of each design. Yes, 18 coordinating patterns. So you can make piles of cards and other projects or even it's a good size if you're doing a smaller daily December book, whatever, with these papers. So I'm going to show you the cards I made. I have used this, the Let It Snow set to make these cards. So here I used the bell and this wavy line. And then I stamped just uh, orange and pink bells. So this I just want to show how, even though I use some of the other papers, Christmas cards don't have to all be just green and red. So I want to use some brighter colors. And then I stamped the little bows along the line and then used the Merry Christmas. And just did some strips of paper along the way. Here I use the solid trees and the snow. And so I stamped my snow in the background and then I stamped my solid trees on top. And you get a little bit of the snow coming through, but with the design, I thought it, I liked the way it ended up looking. And you can just see how you can layer these inks. This is all using those uh, color box inks. So they're, they're opaque enough that you can layer them on top of one another. Then I use the season greeting stamp on the bottom and just a little piece of um, paper here for my ski hill. 
And then on this card, I use that wavy line again, put on an angle to make sort of a little snow hill. This time I used the other trees in red and green, and then I used this little snowflakes and stars all in the background randomly. I stamped them individually. So I just want to show you with this a little technique in doing a background with this snow stamp. Get my dirty block once again. Um, I happen to have artichoke here, so we're going to have artichoke snow. So you stamp it once. And then you can stamp it again in the similar way. Now the thing with this stamp is you have this big snowflake there is a common thing and then these three. So you don't want to continue to stamp and have that snowflake lined up. So initially I was like this. So this time I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to move it over a little. Oh, I got a bit of a smudge there, so you might want to be careful when you're stamping. So now I want to, I'm going to turn it this way and just move it over because I'm conscious of that big one. I don't want that big one to to constantly be appearing. So then, so every time I stamp, I'm sort of rotating it a bit. So now that big one is over here and I can just stamp a little more there. So when you're working it with a stamp like this, that's sort of blocked, you just want to be conscious of where it is. So now it's upside down again, but I'm going to off center it a bit. And that's how you can get your background not looking like you've just blocked had a stamp and just went doon, 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 doon. You want to just play with it and turn it around and move it around just to get a more random looking background. So that there gives you a bit of idea. So even though you have this big one, it's random enough that it doesn't look like you've stamped one set, one stamp over and over and over again. So that gives you some ideas with these lawn fawn stamps, papers, and then using the color box inks. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm going to be showing you the Scissor Mouse by Westcott. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.